Hi friends, so glad you're here today. On today's lesson of the language tutor, I'm gonna give you the numbers in Spanish, okay? After today's lesson, you're gonna be able to count as high as you want to go, as high as you want. So we're gonna take the numbers in sections. A lot of people have heard uh, the numbers one through 10, so we'll just start with that. You may already know these, you may not, but let's start with those. Let's start with zero. Now on the number zero, all you do is change the Z to a C and you have cero, cero. All right, one is uno, uno. Two, push your tongue forward a little bit with a D. Dos, dos. Three is tres, tres. Four is cuatro, cuatro. Remember that C, U is what's making that qua sound. And then five is cinco. Cinco, six, seis, seis, seven, siete, siete, eight, ocho, ocho, nine is nueve, nueve, and ten, diez, diez. Okay, practice those, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, all the way up, just get in that repetition but I wanna encourage you to do something. Once you have the ability to start with zero and go all the way to 10, I wanna encourage you to stop and go out of order because what happens a lot of times is we, is we learn uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. We learn it as a pattern of sound. It's almost like learning the lyrics of a song. You just you hear a new song on the radio and before you know it, you're singing along, right? And so we're, we're learning things as a pattern of sounds and um, we're not actually learning the words or the numbers for what they are. Uh, a good example of this is when my daughter was young, I spoke all French to her when she was a toddler because I wanted her to grow up speaking French. And one day I had her go through the numbers in French, one through 10, but then I asked her in French, how do you say eight? And she kind of looked at me puzzled and then stopped and went, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, huit. And then I realized, oh, she had to go through the song to get to that number. And I said, okay, now we gotta step back and learn the numbers for what they are. So you should be able to say seven, siete, nine, nueve, four, cuatro. So go out of order once you get those down. You're gonna be, you're gonna be fine, you'll do great. Now let's take 11 through 15 together because they all end in the same two letters, C-E. Okay, so 11 is once, once. It looks like once, doesn't it? 12, 12, 12, 13, 13, 13, 14, 14, 14. Now 15, we have a Q-U, we have a Q-U. What does a Q-U sound like? Remember we talked about the rule, Q-U equals K. So just in your mind, replace that Q-U with a, with a K. Now say, 15, 15. All right, so let's do it one more time. Once, doce, trece, catorce, quince. All right, now 16 through 19, I want you to think about the word die in English. Die is spelled D-I-E, right? So a lot of times I'll have my students say die, C-I, die, C-I. And weird makes no sense, but they learn it that way. So I say, what do you remember? And they say, die, C-I. So that helps them get it. So die, C-I. And so what you're doing here, it, it, it comes out as diesi, diesi. So the die, die, C-I helps us spell it, but you pronounce it diesi. Now, what really happens here, if you, got the, if you, if you sort of draw this out, ds is 10, and so, E, the letter Y, means and, so you're really saying 10 and, but what happens is we combine them together and that Z is gonna change to a C, the Y turns into an I and we have DSE, but it comes out sounding like 10 and. So you're saying 10 and six, 10 and seven, 10 and eight, 10 and nine, there you go. 16, DSE seis. 17, DSE siete. 18, Dieci ocho. In 19, dieci nueve. Let's do it one more time, say them after me. Dieci seis, 
17, 18, 19. All right. And look, we're already at 20. It's so easy. You got it. For 20, I want to start by showing you this English word. They run up and down through our body. Veins, right? Vein, V-E-I-N. Just think about that word, V-E-I-N, vein. And all we have to do is put a T-E at the end of it. And now we have, say this after me, veinte. Veinte. All right. Um, and a lot of times I'll have students when they're learning spell that V-I-E. And I'll say, wait a minute, wouldn't that be viente? And they go, oh, yeah, that's right. So remember to spell it E-I to get that A sound, veinte. All right. So that's 20. All we have to do is this. When we go to 21 through 29, see that last E right there? All we got to do is go and change that to an I. And now we have the root for 21 through 29. 21. You're just saying 20 and 1. 22. 23. 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and we're already to 30. Now, at 30, something magical happens. We follow a pattern. It's really easy. All we have to do now is learn the 10s. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90, and we're going to be able to count all the way up to 99, and with one other word, we're going to be able to go to 199, okay? So let's get those tens down. 30 also has an EI. 30. 30. 40. Got that qua sound again with a C. 40. 40. 50. Take that little root from five, and you got it. 50. 50, 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 90, 90, 90. All right, now that brings us all the way up to 99 if we can start to put those in-between numbers together. And guess what? We're going to do it the same way as we do in English. We just have one little thing to remember. If we want to say the numbers between 30 and 40, and between 40 and 50, et cetera, all we have to do is remember the word and the letter Y. And it's pronounced in context. We don't say Y, because that's really just the name of the letter, right? We just say E, it sounds like the letter I almost. Okay, so if we're going to say, let's put 34 up there. 34. All we're going to do is do the same thing we do in English. We take the word for 30, we take the word for 4, but we're just going to put the letter Y in there because it's 30 and 4. So we have this, 34. That's all you got to remember. So we don't say 34, we say 30 and 4. We don't say 56, we say 50 and 6, like this. 56. Let's try 75. Just think about 75 for a second. Okay, 70 and 5. 75. All right, let's try two more, just get in a little practice, all right? 88. Okay, 80 and 8. 88. And let's do 94. 90 and 4, 94. There you go. And that takes us all the way up to 99. See how fast you're learning to count? It's great. Let's get the hundreds numbers now. 100 by itself is 100. 100. That's if you were just going to say the number 100. 100. But if I'm going to say 101, or 130, 100 and anything else, I'm going to use ciento, ciento, okay? So let's try 120. We just simply say ciento 
120, 120. Now, what if we were going to say 199, 199? That 90, remember where the 90 goes. Sometimes students get confused where, okay, wait, where did the and go? Just do the same we did with tens, the tens numbers a while ago. 90 and 9. So 190 and 9. 199. Okay. Those, the word and is always going to go in between the ones and the tens numbers, or the 1,000 and the 10,000, or the 1 million and the 10 million. It goes in between those each time. All right, 200 is very easy, friends, because we just simply take the word two and we put the word ciento, hundred, on it, but it's plural. See, in Spanish, they're thinking two hundreds, three hundreds, unlike our Germanic 100, 200. Okay, so 200, dos cientos. 300, tres cientos. And I bet you can guess what 400 is already. Cuatro cientos. I'm going to skip five for a second. Six hundred. Seis cientos. Now go to eight hundred. Ocho cientos. Okay, now why did I skip five and seven and I didn't go to nine? Because they're troublemakers. They're not going to follow the rule, okay? We always got rule breakers in, in languages. So 500 is actually going to go back to its Latin root, queen clay, Q-U. It's going to go back to that Latin root. So it's going to bring in that Q-U-I. So here it is. Quinientos. 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 All right? So just look at the spelling. A lot of people look at that word and find it intimidating to spell. It's not. Quinientos. It's not that bad. Come to seven. Now for 700, the only thing we have to do is remember that we're just going to pull that I out. Okay? Just like we did with 70. We didn't put an I in 70 either. So it's sete cientos, sete cientos. And that brings us to 900. Just like 90, it also is going to use its Latin root, noven, to say uh, 900. So it's nove cientos, nove cientos. Okay, now let's think about it. We get those down, we can count pretty high right now. Okay, now the word for million is millón. Million, and that really takes us probably about as far as we'd want to sit and count in one sitting, okay? But I do want to tell you one thing about dates. If you're saying the date as in the year, you actually say it like you would in number form. So I was married in 1993, so you would say 1,990 and three like this. Mil novecientos noventa Y tres. Okay, I was born in 71, 1,971, 1,971. Okay, so now all you got to do is just put those numbers together and you got it. Friends, be working on those numbers. And again, in a different lesson, we're going to put the numbers with the dates and we're going to, or the months, and we're going to learn how to write dates. Okay, I'll see you next time on the Language Tutor. Friends, thanks for watching The Language Tutor. If you have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section below the video. And please click subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll never miss any of our language lessons.